Facebook Karen thinks she's getting revenge, ends up paying double. I run a repair shop where I employ a bunch of local kids, ages 16 plus, to learn skills and make some money while we genuinely sit around and talk about the world while we fix things. We had a client come in with a busted electronic. We fixed it up for her and gave her a decent discount on the work. Her final bill for the parts and four hours of labor was $100 even, discounted down from 220. She didn't like the bill. She didn't like the work. She claimed that we had broken something else. She claimed that the kid who did the work didn't know what she was doing. She did, and I had supervised her, and that the kid who helped her in the front room was rude to her. He wasn't, but she didn't like the little pride flag pin he was wearing. She demanded to see the manager, so I popped out, listened to her tear into my kids, validated how she was feeling, but pointed out that the work she had asked for was done, done correctly, and her bill was due on pickup of the piece. The last straw came for her when she pulled out a credit card and I had informed her that we don't accept that particular card. She literally asked, do you know who I am? Which I didn't, still don't, and don't care, and I told her that we'd take a personal check. She wrote out a check, problem solved, and got a note from my bank that one had bounced. It was her check, of course. I called her the next day to inform her that her check had been returned for insufficient funds, and that she needed to come in and pay her bill, plus the extra fee for the return.